Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Surfetched in the Open Great Thick. This Pokemon is really interesting because we're going to have access to the move Leaf Blade allowing you to hit something like, I don't know, something like a Lantern for super effective damage, but also something like a Polyrath, which is currently the most common fighting type Pokemon for super effective damage, which is just really, really cool. First game here, we're going to encounter a matchup where I should have not went into my Surfetch, by the way. Here it would have been way better to go into my Wish Cast instead, especially as the opponent gets the debuff. But still, we're going to do a ton of damage with our fast move, plus we can go for the Brave Bird, which gives us the guaranteed KO against the opponent's Registeer, and we will be able to still get to potential a Brave Bird, but we're gonna go for the Bait here in order to get the shield from the opponent plus some damage onto them, showcasing already how strong the Surf Hatch can be. Like, look at this, we were able to get them to half health as well as knocking out one Pokemon, we can win this first game fairly fast and easy. Next upon coming through, we're going to have a Coma O in the lead. This is going to be an okay matchup for us, but they decided to swap out into the Azumarill. We're going to still stay in here. This was actually the first game that I played with this team, which you can see here by me still having Flash Cannon on my Skarmory, which I changed in the last time I used Skarmory. But um, here, now I'm going to be able to swap out into my Wish Cast, which is going to be able to take the Hydro Pump. But again, we're going to have here a team that is kind of standard. We're going to have a lead of the Skarmory and the like, Mud Boy in the back, which is like a very common core. But we're going to have the Say Stop here, the Surfetch, which is going to be a little bit more unique. And what I always like to do when I build teams is to try to have coverage on my Say Stop that is already on my lead. Here, for example, we're going to have a Fighting Tap as a coverage, uh, like as a Say Stop here. But they're going to have the coverage of Brave Bird, which is going to be a Flying Type move. So, what kind of happens is, as soon as you're going to swap out, out of your lead, you usually get out the Pokemon that would be very weak to your lead, and you're going to still have coverage for this Pokemon with a Surfetch, which is really unique towards it as well, which is really cool. And here we're going to be able to let this move go through, and now the opponent still has three Pokemon left, but we're also going to be able to still sacrifice our Wish Cast here against the opponent's um, Coma O, getting basically the Dragon Claw onto us. And now it's time for Surfetch to sweep. We're going to have a Shield Advantage, we know that they have an Azumarill, which we're going to have Leaf Blade for. And they're going to have in the back a Reggie Steel, which does make a lot of sense because they have a fighting type and like also a dragon type in their lead, which are usually paired with the steel typing. And as you can see here, the opponent is going to be able to get the debuff again onto us, but we can go for another Brave Bird. Goodbye, Reggie Steel. And we can even go for the Leaf Blade immediately afterwards to say goodbye to the opponent's Azumarill here as well. And there's going to be a very good game, a triple kill for the Surfer, showcasing what it can do. Let's move on into the next game. Next opponent coming through, let's see what they're going to run. We're going to have a Mirror of the Skarmory, which is going to be a little bit of a trickier one. I'm not too sure on how I would want to play this one out. You could decide to go for the Brave Bird, but honestly, at the end of the day, a lot of times the opponent's Skarmory is going to have something in the back like the Wish Cast, like the Swampert. So what is usually a very great asset for you it would be the Surfetch. And as you can see here, decide to swap out now into my Surfetch, trying to basically get the opponent insanely low. They can still go for a Charge move, but I will be able to get a ton of energy as an advantage. And look what's coming in here, we're going to see the Lantern coming in, and this kind of showcases me that they're most likely going to be very weak to my Surfetch in the back, and this is going to be a CMP tie onto the Leaf Blade, which is insane, as you can now get two shields from the opponent back, which is amazing for us. I could decide to use a shield here as well and realign if I wanted to, but I'd rather go into my Wish Cast and keep my shield alive for like later on, which I feel like is the smarter play, because like this, we can just over farm quite a bit here against the opponent's lantern, go for the mud bomb. The opponent decides to catch this move, which was a great play by them, but I still think that we're going to be in a decent spot as we can go for another scald afterwards. This is going to be able to get them fairly low. They have now, I think, like two fast moves in, and I can now go ahead and swap out into my Skarmory to catch a Body Slam, kind of showcasing here as well that this is going to be a very good matchup for me. They're going to go very likely into the Lantern, but they actually decided to go into the Skarmory, which is even better for me, because like this, I can go for the Brave Bird, drop my defense, but also with that, I'm going to allow the, not allow the opponent basically to get a lot of farm here. They only got two Sparks in, and one Mud Bomb is all it takes to win this game, and let's move on to the next opponent. I can actually not say the opponent's name there, if you saw it just now, Wild One, I don't know how this is allowed, but we're just gonna roll with it, okay? We're going to be able to have here the lead against the Deoxys, not too sure if this is going to be a great lead in general, but um, we're gonna see here that I decided to swap out into my wish cast because I know that my Surfage is not going to have the greatest matchup, but as you can see, we're going to be able to just go ahead and 
try to go for some mud bombs immediately because they have the icy wind they can debuff me which is going to be a little bit tricky over a long period and as you can see here as well the mud bomb is coming through gonna put them in around half of the health of course i would rather have any of my other two pokemon aligned here but it's still going to be okay as we will be able to now hopefully go for another charge move it does not work out we're going to let this move go through because i'm already so debuffed but i can even reach another mud bomb is it enough to knock them out after all those debuffs i'm not too too sure about it but it is actually enough so we can realign our pokemon but with the deoxys it is going to be a little bit of a trickier one as he's gonna be able to shield up the thunder world this is our best matchup for us like the skarmory against the deoxys i'm forced to use another shield here as well so like this the opponent decides to swap out into the green ninja we're gonna do some super effective damage against them here as well with the counter but sadly our surfetch is insanely squishy and you need shields for this pokemon so this is sadly going to be a loss as the opponent will be able to just go ahead and go for another hydro cannon in order to knock out our skarmory but this is going to be a good game you cannot win them all it's always very nice to see some losses as well to see what maybe can go wrong with this Next opponent, we're going to have a great lead for us. Clotzai is amazing for us because we're going to have neutral matchups the whole like time here, the entire time here, because you're going to be able to just do neutral damage with the Steel Wing plus the Brave Bird plus the Sky Attack. But the opponent's fast move is going to be resisted and they're going to have non-step Stone Edge as the best move to hit us, which is going to be totally okay. A lot of times they don't even run Stone Edge, so this is basically their best matchup for like the Clotzire. A lot of times they're just running Earthquake plus the Sludge Bomb. But as we can see, we can go for the Brave Bird here immediately, doing a ton of damage. And I decided to swap out into my Surfetch because Surfetch with extra energy is insane. I'm gonna tell you here, like this thing with extra energy is usually at least insane. But we're going to battle up against um, the Skarmory here. I can go for the Brave Bird on a CMP tie, which I feel like is the best play that I can do. And so the opponent's gonna go for their own charge move. They are going to be fairly low as well. And I can swap into my wish cast, which is going to be resisting the fast move. And I can outspeed them. Go for the scold, knock them out. And so this is going to be a yeah, good game for the Skarmory. Let's see what's coming in next. We're gonna see the Credelli coming in. This is going to be a little bit of a trickier one, but I can at least still reach another charge move. Maybe should have went for the Brave Bird instead. But Sky Attack also gets shielded, which is kind of okay. And now I have to hope that my Wish Guess is going to be able to win this game. The opponent still has a Pokemon in the back with a few HP left, so I expect them to swap onto it. And they do exactly this, allowing us to get a ton of energy in. We have two scolds stored. We're going to to have 100 energy exactly at this point and as you can see here two scores are perfectly enough to knock them out here at least after, yeah, after the second one it's going to be enough and we're going to be able to win this game next opponent coming through another really awkward lead like i really don't enjoy the skarmory matchup here with this team because it's going to be a little bit tricky towards um the end like you kind of want to play out the lead but it is a little bit tricky of course still actually surf edge is kind of okay for it because we are going to take neutral damage from the fast move plus counter is doing neutral damage which is kind of okay for us so here maybe i don't play it correctly i go for the brave but now i think which is going to do some decent damage but it's not enough i was not too sure about how much damage is actually going to do they're going to go for their own brave bird and i can go ahead and go to my surf edge but they swap out into that charger bug and i am gonna go straight for the brave bird this was most likely a mistake as the opponent decides to use a shield here if i just went for the bait i would have been able to reach another move afterwards as well here i can only reach a night uh, the yeah, leaf bait here which i don't have to shield which is going to be a little bit of an awkward one as we're gonna have to swap out into our wish cast hopefully they're gonna go for the discharge here and they do decide to go for the discharge which is amazing as now they basically did go for the wrong move going to be resisted damage plus more energy which is just way, way better for us, but they can still go for another um, charge move here with the Exeter. Charger Bug is just so strong in the current meta. It is absolutely wild. We can go for the Mud Bomb. That's gonna get the knockout here for sure as the opponent decides to swap into their um, Polyrath in the back. And yeah, at this point, there's not a lot that I can do about it. I can go for the Scald. I can try to get the debuff onto the opponent, but it is a little bit tricky here. This is like the awkward thing about Skarmory. I would like to have a little bit more flying type damage on Skarmory. Like I feel like if Air Slash would have been buffed, it would have been so much better than Steel Wing. But I guess it's kind of balanced right now. So this is going to be sadly a loss. Next opponent, we're going to have a very decent lead for us. We're going to have the Dragonite, and here, definitely having Steel Wing, which is going to do more damage than, for example, the Air Slash Prior, is going to be very, very crucial, as you're going to see here as well. We have a CMP tie, we got the opponent already to half health, and we would be able to knock them out here, and we will be able to knock them out, as they decide to swap out into the Reggie Steel, and at this point, basically, we already know that we're going to be able to win this game. There's nothing the opponent can do anymore. We got out the Lickitung. We're also still going to have our counter user here, we're going to still have our ground type in the back, 
back, and we're going to be able to align our wish cast perfectly in, onto the opponent's Reggie Steel. But also, I can even go for some Leaf Blade spam here with my Surfetched. I know that the opponent has a ton of energy, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try to catch a move later on onto my Skarmory because, yeah, it just kind of makes it a little bit more safe, as you can see here. And um, they're going to get rid of a little bit of energy here. 80 energy gone down the drain against the opponent, uh, against my Skarmory, of course. They can still get some farm because they didn't knock me out with it, but I can just go for the Mud Bomb spam. And the opponent knows already this game is over, and so we're going to be able to win this game. Next opponent coming in, let's take a look what they're going to run. We're going to have the Skarmory lead again. This is not really the most ideal lead, of course, but let's see what we can do about it. I'm honestly still not too sure on how I want to play this one. I could even decide to swap out eventually, whatever, but like I still have to wait until they're going to throw. I think I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird here afterwards and try to go for my swap then afterwards as well. Show went straight for the Brave Bird. I went a little bit above 100 energy with this, which is not really ideal. They can go for their own charge move. I can let this move go through. It's going to be another Brave Bird actually, which is kind of awkward. And I can swap out into my Surf Edge, but they decide to swap out into their own Wish Cast. And this is amazing as our Leaf Blade is easily able to one-shot them. Like honestly, this is a crazy thing as well. Like even against most uh, normal water types because of the high attack set of the Surf fetched the uh, leaf fight is just doing so much damage it is mad as you can here see as well easy knockout let's see what's coming in next it's going to be the um dragon air interesting that they went into their wish castle and i guess i expected a different fighter coming in there or I don't know actually what they really expected there to be fair. But we're going to be able to go into our own wish guess. I can even take a move here if I need to. But I decided to use a shield. I expect that they want to swap out eventually. And they do. Onto the Skarmory. Great play by the opponent. But um, I don't know if this is going to really matter. Because I can even. I still going to go for one shot move here. I don't want to get hit by a Brave Bird. And I think they had a little bit more energy there as well. So yeah. I can still just go for my Mud Bomb. The Mud Bomb is going to be enough to knock them out. And so it's going to be a very easy game. And let's move on into the next one. Honestly, Surfage is so much fun to play. It's just like a fast Pokemon that can just do so much stuff, like new king opponents, having great coverage. Here, we're going to have a great coverage against the opponent's Tentacool as well. We're going to be able to go into our Wish Cast, get some extra energy, hopefully afterwards as well. They can go for a Scald if they want to. They do go for the Scald. If she's still going to be a very, cl nah, not close, but like a little bit more of a neutral matchup here. But uh, let's take a look at this one. We're going to be able to go for a Mud Bomb. I think I could have got a little bit more energy, like two more fast moves or something. But it doesn't really matter too much anyway, because we can still only get to one mud bomb no matter what and so we're going to be able to do some damage against the opponent and also realign so we're going to be able to swap out into our scum where we can take a move here awkward here is the best that they can hit us with and i kind of want to keep my shields for my surfage in the back i was lagging a little bit there i think but i can go for a brave bird here hopefully getting either like the damage or like the shield from the opponent as i can swap out now into my surfage i have still my leaf bite for this pokemon i can use my shields but i don't even want to use my shield here yet as i can use the shield for the next one they just went for the mud Bomb instead of the Scald, which is amazing for me. Scald would have been a little bit more tricky, but I can just go for another Leaf Blade here. This is gonna get the knockout if they're going to no shield this one, and they do no shield this one, which kind of already seals the deal here. As Surfetch is going to be able to clean up this game. What a Pokemon, honestly, what a really good Pokemon. Next opponent, we're going to have the Swampert in the lead. This is going to be okay for us. We're going to swap out immediately into our Surfetch because they're going to do a ton of damage and they swap out into the Talonflame. I think I could have baited here. I think I should have baited here because, um, yeah, Leaf Blade would have been also kind of fine for us just to try to get the bait done because, as you can see here, would have still been able to reach another move. And I have to say, Talonflame is an issue for this one. Talonflame is like the one Pokemon or also like I guess Charizard as well which is going to break this team like it's going to completely destroy me and I just want to show it here as well like this Pokemon has so much potential because it breaks the lead as well as the save up it's the only Pokemon that can really do it so um, usually something like a different lead might be better for this one I don't think here actually we were, we were able to still align but it, it's still going to be a tough one to come back from this kind of Pokemon there but um, what I have to say is I feel like that a different kind of flying type in the lead would be maybe better than Skarmory. Something like maybe even a Talon Flame, which would have been making some sense as well. Or like even the Charizard, which does make some sense, would be even a little bit better there. But yeah, really depends. I kind of want to have some bulk on this team as well because Surfetch does not have any bulk at all. So that's just why I went for the Skarmory. But this definitely gives me the whole of the Talon Flame. 
final battle for today. Let's see what they're going to run here. We're going to have battle starting. We're going to have the Skarmory against a Dragonair. Again, Dragonair is everywhere in the lead currently. Like, I don't know why, but like this Pokemon is such a trend right now. And yeah, like it is a little bit annoying to deal with, but I still feel like it's a Pokemon that is kind of okay to deal with. It's not like crazy strong. So we're going to be able to now swap out into my wish case, but I actually stay in for a little bit too long, which is a mistake, but it's still going to be okay here because we can take a move. If they want to go for the Brave Bird, it's fine for us. They decide to go for the Sky Attack, which does not even two-shot me, but I can just go for the Scald. Scald is going to be also a little bit faster to get to than for whatever they want to get to, but they are going to still be able to outspeed me, forcing me to use a shield. It is going to be... The sky attack which i actually would have been able to still survive but i can at least force switch advantage here which is going to be important so you're going to see scott getting the shield from the opponent i can go for another scott before they can go for any charge of their own they are debuffed by one stage already and now they're going to go down with this even better force because i don't have a shield anymore they're going to go back into their um, yeah, Dragonair, they go for the charge move, which is okay. I can just go back into my Surf Edge now against the opponent's Lantern. And this is kind of the matchup that you want to see for the Surf Edge. Surf Edge is just so, so strong in those matchups against water types. It is just so, so good right now. Like, I would really recommend you to try this Pokemon out. It's just so great to counter something like a Lantern. And so, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this team would work out for you as well. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.